your machine will sew on buttons. And it's easy as removing the presser foot. Watch this, when we go into our A menu and go ahead and go to the third screen, stitch number 36, is to sew on buttonhole, or sew on buttons. And you actually heard a little click. That is the lowering of the feed teeth. They lower automatically when you switch to the sewing on button mode. We touch the question mark. There we go, and touch it. Automatic button sewing. We're sewing on buttons. Okay, nothing extra in there. But it does show you on screen that there is a tool, the multi-purpose tool in use, should you wish to have a shank of thread for easier buttoning onto something thick. I'm gonna show you first how to do this and then we'll show you how to use it with the tool. If you just need to sew the button right onto the fabric with no extra little give to that thread, you're gonna go ahead and just remove the presser foot. Take your, your um, thread, sometimes I hold on to it. I am going to lower the needle down into the left eye of the button and then lower the presser foot down. This ankle, the white ankle, sits on the button and actually helps hold it. Now notice this is a four hole buttonhole and I'm actually sewing on the front two first. Just because it's a little smaller size, it gives a little bit more surface area for this ankle to sit on. If you kind of do the, the ones in the back first, sometimes it will catch just the edge and it'll try to kind of lift up that button and that makes it a little awkward. But that's just one little trick. Sew on the front two first. Now once you're lined up here, what I would want you to do is hand turn so that the needle you make sure that it's going to swing into the right side of that, um, of the button here. So, and then just go ahead and stitch. It'll lock and it's already done. So then you can use the selective thread cutter and it will cut the thread for you. It knows to pick a hole and not just cut in the middle there. All right. And then if we wanna go ahead and do the other ones, just go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees. Once again, lower the needle into one of the, the left eye, lower the presser foot, and then just check the swing and you're set to go. Now, if you do need extra stitches, if you touch the sewing information, you can change how many times it goes back and forth. It was going eight times, but if you wanna increase it, you could go up to 12 times. Um, actually, you probably go up a little bit more, but it'll just go 12 times back and forth, then stop, and then you can cut your, your thread. So if you need to, let's see how far it goes up. 16 times is the maximum size that will actually stitch. So it's gonna be really reinforced. Another quick little tip is if you take fray check and put a drop of that on your buttons that you sew on, they'll never come loose because the threads kind of meld together, glue together. You can use that tip to go through your entire closet, especially for the, the dress, um, uh, dress shirts of a, of a men's shirts, you can go and put fray check on every one of his buttons and you'll never have to sew buttons on. So isn't that nice? So how about for if we do need a shank of thread, I'll show you how you use it with the multi-purpose tool. We'll drop this back down to the normal setting of eight. Go ahead and now remember your multi-purpose tool has two different thicknesses. So if you need a more shank of thread, you can use the thicker one. We'll just use the thinner one for this for now. You're gonna go ahead, set your button on top of the tool. Once again, sink your needle manually down into the left hole of the button and then lower the presser foot down. Check the swing. There it goes, it's set. I'm gonna just maybe check it just because it moved just a little bit. There we go. And then just go ahead and stitch and the lock and the cut. There we go. So now what we have is we've created a little extra lift. So there's room for, as the fabric is buttoned to this, there's room for it to slip underneath and not buckle the back fabric. And that is how easy it is to sew on buttons.